गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इमेज फॉर्म बाय द कॉन्केव मिरर There are three rules to draw ray diagram of image by using the concave mirror. The rule one is if an image, if an incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, then the reflected ray passes through the principal focus that is the first rule what is that the rule one is the if an incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then the reflected ray passes through the principal focus for example consider a concave mirror okay and this is the principal axis of this concave mirror and this is the pole of the concave mirror and this is the principal focus and this is the center of curvature of the concave mirror so what is the first rule if an incident ray is parallel to the principal axis that means here we are incident 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 the ray which is parallel to the principal axis that means this is the incident ray which is incident parallel to the principal axis on the concave mirror then what happen it will reflected reflected ray passes through the principal focus it will reflects and the reflected ray will be passes through the principal focus this is the principal focus so this is the reflected ray and it will passes through the principal focus this is the first rule so this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray okay so this is the rule one what is the rule one when we incident the light ray which is parallel to the principal focus of the concave mirror it will reflect and it will passes through and the reflected ray will be passes through the principal focus of concave mirror and second rule the second rule is if the incident ray is passes through the principal focus of the concave mirror the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis if the incident ray is passes through the principal focus of the mirror then the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis
if an incident ray is passes passes through the principal focus of the concave mirror the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis so consider a concave mirror and here this is the principal axis and this is the pole of the concave mirror and this is the focus of the principal focus of the concave mirror and here this is the center of the concave mirror center of curvature of the concave mirror so when we incident the light ray and that light ray the incident ray is passes through the principal focus that means here this is the principal focus when our incident ray which is passes through the principal focus then it will reflect it will reflect and that reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis so this is the parallel to the principal axis so here this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray okay so what is the second rule if the incident ray is passes through the principal focus of the concave mirror the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis of the concave mirror and next one rule 3 so that rule 3 is if an incident ray passes through the center of curvature of the mirror the reflected ray reflects in the same path okay it will reflects back in the same path if an incident ray is passes through the center of curvature of the mirror the reflected ray reflects back in the same path that means when our incident ray which is passes through the center of curvature of the concave mirror okay it will reflect in the same direction it will reflects back in the same path okay for example consider this is the concave mirror so this concave mirror having the pole p principal focus f and center of curvature c when our incident ray is passes through the center of curvature so this is the center of curvature so this is the incident ray okay it will reflects in the same path it will reflects in the same path like this it will reflects back in the same path okay so this is the third rule of the image form by the concave mirror now let us see the image formation of the concave mirror consider a concave mirror image formed by concave mirror
Now observe in this diagram. So consider the concave mirror. So here this is the concave mirror having the optical center C and principal focus F and pole P. Okay. Now, place an object AB in between the principal focus of the concave mirror and center of curvature of the concave mirror. For example, consider an object AB which is placed in between the principal focus of this concave mirror and center of curvature of this concave mirror. Here, this is the, this F is the principal principal focus principal focus of this concave mirror and c is the principal focus of concave mirror he, here there are two incident rays that is as and a q okay are the incidents on the concave mirror here as and a q are the incident rays which are incident on the concave mirror for example, for con first consider the incident ray AS. Sorry, S. So this is the incident ray. So the AS is the incident ray which is going parallel to the principal axis. Which is parallel. This is the parallel to the principal axis. So what is the rule when an incident ray passes through the passes through parallel to the principal axis when an incident ray is passes through the principal parallel to the principal axis it will reflect and the reflected ray will be passes through the principal focus okay that means here it will passes the reflected ray will be passes like this Okay, here this is the reflected ray of the AS. Okay. And next, another one is the AQ. AQ is the incident ray which is passes through the focus of the concave mirror. Here A. Q is passes passes through the principal focus here this is the principal focus so this is the incident ray AQ which is passes through the principal focus so what is the rule here when our incident ray is passes through the principal axis principal focus the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis that means here the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis. Here this is the reflected ray. So here N, M. That means S, N and Q, M. These two are the reflected rays of A, S and A, Q respectively. Okay. These two reflected rays are intersect at particular point here see here this is the reflected ray and this is the reflected ray that is nothing but a s n and q m these two are intersect at particular point okay so here this intersect point is a dash so the image of a is formed by the form at a dash the image of a is formed at a dash okay and the b is placed on the principal axis here the b is placed on the principal axis so 
it image will also be formed on the principal axis only that means here this is the b dash okay so here b dash is the image of b the image of points in between the a and b is lies in between the a dash and b dash thus the image of a b is the a dash b dash here this image is the inverted image and it is a real image and it is a smaller than the size of the object okay so this is the image formed by the concave mirror now see here here consider this is the concave mirror okay so this is the principal axis of this concave mirror and p is the pole of the concave mirror and f is the principal focus of this concave mirror and c is the center of curvature of this concave mirror here consider an object a b which is placed in between the principal focus of the concave mirror and the center of curvature of the concave mirror here we are there are two incident rays a s and a q a s and a q these two are the incident rays here the incident ray a s which is incident parallel to the principal axis okay so there is a rule for the image formation of the concave lens when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis the reflected ray will pass through the principal focus of the concave mirror so here as is the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis and the reflected ray be the a n and which is passes through the principal focus okay and now let us consider the second reflected second incident ray that is the a q okay here a q is the second reflect incident ray this incident ray is passes through the princ principal focus okay and what is the rule when the incident ray is passes through the principal focus it will reflect the reflected ray which is passes parallel to the principal axis that is nothing but here this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray so this reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis these two are parallel parallel to each other so the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis okay and here as and aq both are the incident rays and sn and qm these are the reflected rays of as and aq respectively okay and these two reflected rays are intersect at particular point so these two reflected rays this is the reflected ray and this is the reflected ray these two are intersect at particular point this point is a dash that means this is the image of the point a this is the image of point a okay and coming to the point of b the b point is placed on the principal axis okay so the image of the p is also placed on the principal axis only it will be the image is formed on the principal axis only but it is strictly on this point on the principal axis that point is noted as a b dash here b dash is the image of the b okay so a dash b dash be the image of an object a b in case there is any other other points in between the a and b so the image of the remaining points is also formed in between the a dash b dash okay so this is about the image formed by the concave mirror thank you